Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Um, I hope you're all having a good start to your weekend, long weekend, which is nice. Um, we will just wait a minute and then we'll get started. So just wait for some more people to join in. If you want to put some music on in the background, if you like a bit of music while you're doing your class, you could put a playlist on or something. Okie dokie, you might get started. Okay. So for anyone that's just joined, happy Saturday. We have our 40 minute Pilates uh, class, sort of intermediate level. Um, and I'll try and give options either side of um, the exercises. So making them harder and easier as we go. Uh, just listening to your body. If you're working with any injuries, uh, just keeping that in mind as we progress through the class. And if you need any breaks at any point, just making sure you listen to your body and stop if an exercise gets too much have a rest and then just join back in okay my lovelies let's get started so let's start in a nice uh, seated posture um, just sitting cross-legged or if you prefer to sit I'm gonna take my socks off if you prefer to sit uh, on your knees or in a mermaid position you can also sit like that whatever you prefer just want to find a nice tall seat and we're just going to open up our upper back this morning. So to start, you're going to take your hands, interlace your fingers and then start to push your palms forward. As you do this, I want you to sink, sink back into your back. So you're making your C curve position. And I want you to think about pushing the top part of your spine outwards. So you're really getting an opening through the back of the shoulders here. You want to Push that part of your back out, get a nice stretch, and then take a deep breath in and then sit up really tall as you reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Good, we're gonna circle the arms, we're gonna do that one more time. Deep breath in, draw the hands in. As you exhale, push that part of your back behind you, open through the shoulder blades, and then you're just gonna take a little movement from side to side here. So it kind of giving a little massage in the outer part of your back. Good, and then bring yourself back up nice and tall and then open those arms down. Good, now we're going to take a little twist. So you're gonna take your opposite hand across your knee, so right hand across your left knee, and then start to twist slightly towards the back. Just a gentle twist to start. Again, we just wanna focus on opening our spine and our back here. Good, back to the center and we'll switch sides. Take your left hand across your right knee and then gently start to twist towards the back of the room, opening through that spine. Feel that twist in your navel, center of the body getting a nice twist. Good, one more deep breath and back to center. Very nice, everyone. Just bring yourself forward into your four point posture. So finding yourself in your hands and knees there. Good. Sorry, let's find that lovely four point posture. Making sure the shoulders are over the wrists and then hips are directly over your knees. And we're gonna move into our cat and cows this morning. So as we take a deep breath and we're gonna draw our belly button up towards our spine, push our spine up towards the roof. And then as you reverse this, you arch through your back gently, send your chin and chest up and your bottom slightly up towards the ceiling. Good, draw the core in and pushing the spine up, engage the abdominal area. And then reversing back down, just arching gently through that spine, just taking it nice and gently. Good, scooping up through the abdominals. And gentle arch. Very gentle movement through the spine. Good, then we're going to find ourselves back in our tabletop. Tuck your toes, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, we're gonna push back to a downward facing dog. So typically a yoga posture, 
but a really nice, nice one to the back of the leg. So it is a good one to sometimes do at the start of our Pilates class or the end. You can bend your knees here. I just want you to think about opening up the back of the hamstrings and getting a little bit of engagement in that upper body. Good. One more deep breath. As you rise up onto the balls of the feet, bend your knees and find yourself back in your four-point posture. Knees are hovering off the mat, engage the core. Good, we're gonna just drift ourselves forward and back here. So we move slightly forward and exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Three more times, shift the weight forward, exhale back, shift the weight forward, exhale back. Last time, and exhale, push yourself back, downward facing triangle posture. Stretch out through the back of the legs and the knees. If you've got tight hamstrings, you can keep those knees bent. Take one more deep breath, then we rise up onto the balls of the feet, come back down to our knees, and this time we descend the knees down to the floor. Nice, guys. Just release those toes and push yourself back and take a brief little breather in your child's pose. Just sinking your bottom down towards your heels, opening through the back here as well, and breathing for a few deep breaths. Really nice work, everybody. Just transitioning yourself over onto your bottom. Swing your legs around and then taking hold of the back of those knees. Find a lovely tall spine, sitting up nice and tall. And then as if someone's punched you in the stomach, you take a slow roll down, scooping through those abdominals, one vertebrae at a time, all the way down to the mat. As you start to lower, Bring your knees with you and draw your knees into your chest. Taking a gentle little rock from left to right, just giving that little, the lower back a little massage there. Lovely guys. And then stretch those legs up to the ceiling, take a full stretch, reaching, 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 and then switch the top leg. And then same thing, take a gentle little rock from left to right. Nicely done, everybody. Good. Okay, let's bring those feet down to the mat. We're going to move into some abdominal work here. So for this exercise, I want you to think about keeping a nice flat spine on the mat, so an imprinted spine. So tuck your pelvis slightly. Think about pressing your lower back firmly into the mat and drawing everything down into your belly button. So we're scooping our abdominals downwards. Lovely, guys. Now you can bring your head down to the mat for this first one, and then we'll add a little crunch as we go. Take a deep breath in to reach the arms up, and then exhale, just place them down on the mat just beside your torso. So just uh, not in your T position today, but just down next to your body there. That's it, good. We take a deep breath and we lift our right leg off the mat and exhale our left leg to join. So we're in a 90 degree angle with our thighs, good. As we take a deep breath in, we're gonna extend our right leg long. We flex through the foot, we point through the foot and we draw it back in. Good, exhale, left leg diagonal, flex the foot, point the foot, and draw it back in. Inhale to extend the right leg, flex the foot, point the foot, draw it back in. One more time, deep breath and extend, flex, point, and in. Good, if you wanna make it a bit harder, coming up to a crunch position, hands on either side of the back of the head there, right leg reaches, flex, point, draw it in, inhale left, flex, point, and exhale, inhale, flex, point, and exhale, and left, flex, point, and exhale, nice, everyone, come a little higher with that upper body, we're going to add a little variation here, inhale, we take our right leg out, we flex and point, we drop the foot down, we tap our heel to the mat, we lift it up and we draw it in. So long inhale, flex and point, drop the foot, and then exhale to bring it back in. Inhale, extend, we flex, we point, we tap the mat, we draw it up and we bring it in. Lots going on here. Inhale, we stretch, flex, point, 
heel taps, draw it up, exhale, one more each side, inhale, stretch through the back of the knee, extension through the hamstring, good, squeezing the navel down, good, flex and point, tap the mat, lift it up, draw it in, squeeze a little higher, and then hug those knees in, nice job guys, take a gentle little rock left to right, breathe it out, and we're going to do that with doubles. So you can keep your upper body down on the mat if it's feeling like it's too much in that crunch position. Alternatively, coming back up to that crunch, and we're going to do the same thing with our two legs extending. If you know that's a bit much, just go back to your singles. We're going to do six of them, so three on each leg if you're doing singles. Okay, so here we go. We come up to that crunch if you're coming up to the crunch. We bring the knees to our tabletop. We extend both legs long. We flex, we point, we drop the heels, we lift and draw it back in. That's one. Inhale, flex, point, drop lift, exhale, two, inhale, flex, point, drop, lift, that's three, we're halfway, draw the belly button down, inhale, flex, point, heels drop, exhale, lift, two more, inhale, flex, point, heels drop, exhale, last one, deep breath in, flex, point, heels drop, hold it here for a few deep breaths, down at the bottom, breathe, 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 lift them up and draw the knees in. Nice job guys, well done. Take a little rock side to side, beautiful work. Very, very good job everyone. Lovely stuff. Okay, bring those feet down to the mat now. Bring your head back down to the floor. Just take a breath there. And then we're going to squeeze our left knee into our chest. Extend our right leg long. So we have extension through the back of our right leg and we're just squeezing that left knee into the chest. Now we're going to do a little version of a roll up with a leg extension. So this is quite a tricky one, but um, I think you should definitely give it a go. And if it's too difficult, you can just bend that knee and do it a little bit easier version with that knee bent, okay? Alternatively, the leg is straight. So we take our hands onto the top of the knee. We do two little pulses as we pull that knee into the chest. Two little pulses. And then exhale, we're gonna grab hold of our calf and shoot ourselves up to a roll up position with an extended leg. Beautiful. Good, now we let go of that leg. We drop the leg down to the mat. We tap the mat, we scoop it back up. And then we're gonna walk ourselves down that leg very, very slowly, one vertebrae at a time, all the way down to the mat, and we draw the knee in. So we take two deep breaths here. Another breath, and we're ready to go again. We pull the knee in, inhale for two pulses. Exhale, we shoot ourselves up, we find a tall spine, we draw our belly in, good. We let go of the leg, we lower the foot down with control. We draw that leg back up using our abs. We take hold of the leg and we slowly walk ourselves down one vertebrae at a time down the back of that leg with control and we bend the knee in. Let's do that one more time on this side. We take two little pulses. We draw it in for two. And then exhale, we shoot it up long, straighten through that spine, core engaged. Lovely. We release the leg, we lower it down, we tap the mat, we draw it back up to our hands, we walk ourselves down very slowly to the mat, and this time leave that leg up into the ceiling for me. Excellent, guys. Reach those hands up towards the roof, imagining you're holding onto something. Scoop the belly button down, bend your right knee if you need it a little bit easier. Otherwise, keep it long for me. Good. Now we're going to draw some circles on the roof here. So about the size of a dinner plate with your big toe, just drawing those circles, keeping everything else very still. And then we're going to reverse those circles. Send the circles around the other direction. Control through the body, pointing through that foot. Good. One more that direction. Lovely guys, now we're going to lower the leg down to the floor, inhale, and then we flex and we scoop it up, exhale. 
Inhale, point it all the way down. Exhale, flex, draw it up. Inhale, point to lower. Exhale, flex it up. Two more, inhale, point to lower. Exhale, flex it up. Last one, inhale, point to lower. Flex, draw it up. Last little push here. Keep the foot flex and come up just doing a few little crunches up towards the foot. We breathe in, we exhale. Inhale, crunch and exhale. Two more for two. Good, and one. Hold it here. Reach, reach, reach. Bring your other leg up to join. Flex both feet and then hug those knees down. Well done, guys. Take a breather there. Just take a rock from side to side. Drop those knees left to right. And then we'll come into our second side. So just taking a well-deserved little rest there before we move on. Refresh your breath. Refresh the body to go to the second side. Really nice work, guys. Got some lovely sun shining in today, which is fantastic. I hope it's sunny where you are as well. I mean, let's see how long it lasts for maybe five more minutes. <laughs> but I'll take it. <laughs> okay, so let's extend now our left leg out long and draw our right knee into the chest. We give it a really tight squeeze. We're going to pull it in for two pulses on our inhale. Here we go. Inhale for two. And then exhale, we shoot the leg up, we take hold of the calf and we find a tall spine. Lovely, we release the leg, we lower it down with control, we tap the mat, we draw it up, we catch it, and then very slowly we walk ourselves down, one vertebrae at a time, down that leg, and we lower. Good, we bend the knee, we squeeze it in for two pulses. For two, exhale, we shoot up, find that tall spine. Lengthen the back, lengthen the neck, release the leg, drop it down to the mat. Just picking it up as high as you can. Take hold of that leg and then very gently walking yourself down so slowly, as slow as you can go. Excellent, guys. And then squeeze that knee in. We pulse again last time. Two pulses. Exhale, shoot yourself up. Nice, hold it here, let go, lower it down to the floor, lift it up to the leg, take hold of that leg, find that tall spine before you walk yourself down, one vertebrae at a time, very controlled, and we lower. Lovely, guys, take those arms up to the ceiling, good, and remember you can bend your left knee in if you need a bit more help with the control here. Alternatively, leaving it nice and strong today, lengthened out. And we're just going to draw those circles once more with the big toe on the roof, straightening through the back of that right leg. One more that direction, and we reverse, controlling that movement. Good, for three, two, one. Really think about lengthening the back of the knee. If you need a bend, you can bend it, but do your best to keep it really straight for me. Good. Point that foot down to the floor. Inhale. Flex as you draw the leg up. Inhale. Point it long and away from you. Exhale. Flex and draw it up. Inhale. Point it long. Deep breath in. Exhale. Flex to lift. Three more. Inhale. Point, point, point. Reaching away. Exhale. Flex to lift. Four, two, squeeze the belly button down to the spine, controlling that core. Last one, point it down and lift it up. And we come into those crunches. We lift up, inhale, exhale, lower. Squeeze two, lift and exhale. Keep your other leg really lengthened. Good, for four and three, reaching straight up to that foot and two. Good, and one, reach and hold, reach and hold. Bring your other leg up. Flexing both feet, flexing both feet, and bring your hands behind your head. Bend your knees into a little frog position. As you exhale, we're going to point our legs out to a V on a diagonal. Good. Inhale, flex, draw it in. Exhale. So a little bit of a reformer exercise. Inhale, draw it in, frog position, flex through the feet. Exhale, push. We have four more. Inhale, draw it in. Exhale, push. Good. Inhale, flex. 
exhale push last one draw it in point it out hold it there hold it there reach 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 on that diagonal with the arms draw the legs in and bend them down well done guys beautiful job take a rock left to right hopefully your abs and legs are nice and awake now good morning abdominals and leg muscles fantastic everyone okay let's roll directly over onto our side now and we're going to do a little bit of extended side work today so coming up onto your knees yeah um as always just being very mindful of knees if you have any knee pain especially since you're at home you can quickly grab something to put under your knees or just roll your mat into like a double position there excellent okay so just shifting yourself over finding yourself in a four quick posture and we're going to take one leg out to the side yeah so either either leg because you're going to do the other leg anyway nice so stretching that leg out to the side and then you're going to shift your weight slightly over to the left so away from that leg so you've got a bit more control good we're going to point through that foot stretch through that knee we're going to lift the leg up to hip level on our inhale, exhale lower, and then we're going to lower ourselves down to a tricep push up and then push ourselves up. So triceps everyone, elbows are coming beside our body. So if I was doing it side on, so you can see a bit better, your elbows are going backwards, not out to the side for this particular exercise, okay? So we've got six of these, so we've got five more to do. Inhale, lift exhale lower inhale drop the chest exhale push inhale lift exhale lower inhale triceps are engaged inhale lift exhale lower pushing down pushing up one more inhale and exhale pushing down and up good lift that leg flex the foot little pulses so just lifting it directly up towards the ceiling you're going to feel the outside of your right hip here really working for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, hold it, point through the foot, reach and hold. With control, drop that leg down and walk yourself up so you're nice and tall through the body now. Fantastic. Press that foot down to the floor. You can keep it facing this way or if it's more comfortable you can turn it like inwards just making sure it's flat to the floor for a bit of control in that leg yeah we're going to take our same leg as our bent leg same leg same arm as our bent leg down to the mat and we're going to take our right leg uh, right leg our right arm up to the ceiling wow i can't talk this morning now Little bend in our left elbow. This exercise is quite advanced as well. So just take it easy. It might be a bit too tricky. Try one or two, see how you go. Press down into your top leg, the leg that's extended. Take a deep breath in, exhale, prepare. Inhale, you're gonna hover your left leg off the floor. If you can, bring it up to tap your underneath leg and drop it down one. Inhale, lift exhale two inhale lift exhale three two more inhale lift exhale four inhale lift exhale five now hold this one up for me if you can your body up well done guys very good just take a stretch reaching over to the side breathe out through that body Beautiful work, everyone. And then just start coming up there. Bring your foot down and then just take a quick child's pose before we do the second side. So just relax your body down. Take a deep breath. Releasing it here. Well done. I think I'm a bit frozen. Hang on a second. Oh no, I think I'm back now. Sorry about that, everyone, if my internet just froze a little bit. Okay, let's continue on to the second side. So just taking your brief little child pose. And then we're gonna move into our second side. Excellent. So hands and knees, 
We move ourselves over to the other side of the mat and then send your other leg out to the side and then slightly shift your weight away from that extended leg. We scoop through the abdominals, we brace through the chest. Inhale, we lift the leg up, exhale, lower. Inhale, we lower our chest down, exhale, we push up. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Triceps beside the body, good. Inhale, lift, exhale and inhale and exhale two more inhale and lower inhale exhale one more deep breath and down elbows back behind you good lift that leg flex the foot little pulses little tiny lifts of that leg squeeze through the abdominals bracing through the core good for five four three two one, reach and hold, reach and hold, and bring that leg down. Well done, guys. Just draw yourself up there. Fantastic. Finding that strong side position before we move on. And then you're going to bring the same hand as that bent knee down to the mat. And then extend your other arm up towards the ceiling. Good. Now, um, if that is too much, just press down through that foot. And we take a deep breath in, press into our underneath hand, and we draw our underneath leg up. Inhale, one, exhale. Inhale, two, and exhale. Inhale, three, and exhale. Control it, four, and exhale. And five, and exhale. We hold it up, reach that arm up and over your head, squeeze through those side obliques. Bring it down with control and draw your body up. Beautiful work, everyone. Take a stretch over to the side, just opening up that side body. Really want to feel a nice stretch from the top of that shoulder all the way down to the hip crease as you reach over. Really nice job, everyone. Draw yourself up. Beautiful stuff. And just sit yourself down onto the mat now. Lovely. We're going to do a little spinal twist now since we were working on sort of opening up our upper back at the start of class. Do a little bit of work into our back now. So finding a very tall seat, extend the arms out to the side and just envisioning like someone's got hold of your right hand and someone's got hold of your left hand. As we find that position, we sit tall, we make a long, strong body here, long neck, shoulders are down. We're going to twist two pulses to the right. Pulse, pulse and centre. Good. Sitting nice and tall, stretching through the back of the legs and pulse to the left, pulse and centre. So inhale, we pulse. Inhale, exhale, centre. Good. Inhale, exhale, centre. One more each side. Inhale, exhale, centre. Inhale, Exhale, centre. Nice. From there, guys, just bring your hands down and take a quick stretch in between those legs. So just bring the forearms down. Take a moment there. Just reaching through the spine. Yeah, lovely work, guys. And then the lower back. It's a nice little release for the lower back here. Lovely. Good. Now we've set ourselves up to do a little bit of twisting abdominal work now. So you're going to bend your knees in from here. And then just finding like a comfortable position on your bottom, take the back of your legs and scoop yourself back into your C curve. From here, you can either keep your feet on the mat like this, or we're going to come up to a hooked foot position. So we cross our ankles and we point through our toes. Good. We're going to extend our arms and bring them into like a, like a prayer position, I guess. Yeah. We're going to take a scoop down to our right, like we're Kind of rowing our boat here. Deep breath in, we row and centre. Inhale, left, exhale, centre. We do a big scoop with those arms, exhale, centre. Inhale and exhale. For two and exhale. For one and exhale. We stretch the legs, cross the other foot on top. Good. Inhale, scoop and exhale. Big scoop and exhale. Big scoop and exhale, big scoop, exhale, two more, we scoop, exhale, we scoop, 
exhale, good, extend the legs out. Let's do some crisscrosses here. So we cross, cross, exhale for two, inhale for two. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more set of breath, inhale, exhale. Good, hug those knees in, find a tight ball position. And let's go straight into our rolling like a ball. So up and down that spine, have a nice little massage. Good, we're going full, full force today, everyone. We're not taking many breaks, which I enjoy that for us. <laughs> Good, do two more of these. And then on your last one, I want you to find your balance, squeeze your core, and see if you can come up to your teaser position. Hold for one deep breath, hug the knees and roll yourself back down. For two, and up, for one, and up, hold it, find your balance, either stay here or find your teaser position. Breathe and hold, breathe and hold. One more time, scoop under the knees, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, hold it, hold it, hold it. Stretch those legs, teaser position. We hold for three, for two, for one. Flex your feet, grab your feet, hold for three, for two, for one, let go, hold for three, for two, for one, lower the feet down to the mat, take a tall spine and reach yourself forward, beautiful work guys. Little marathon there for you. Take a well deserved stretch here. Let your back relax, draw your belly in, head is down and just take a breath. Excellent job, everyone. Nice. Okay, let's do a little bit of bottom activation and, and working again on that back. So just coming back to your mat, find the back of your legs and roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time and we'll come into some of our bridge work. Yeah. So fingertips are just able to touch the back of our heels and we don't want it. We want to make sure that our knees are sprailing out to the side. We're keeping them in line with our hip, in line with our pelvis. Let's just do a few of our pelvic tilts to start. So just taking your hands onto your hip bones. As you take a deep breath in, tuck your pelvis and draw your hips towards your ribs. So we're decreasing that space in our abdominals. We're tucking the pelvis and we're scooping down. Good, then we're going to reverse this. So we arch the spine, we send our hips away from us and we find a little arch here. Good, inhale, we scoop, we tuck the pelvis, we draw the belly button down, we scoop into the abdominals. Good, exhale, we reverse, send your hips away from you, arching through the spine. Good, then finding your neutral position. So right in the middle of those two points, and then from here forward, and then I just want you to hinge your body forward. And then from there, you melt down over that leg. Just to where you can, feeling that nice opening in the pelvis. Yeah, think of sitting down into your bottom and elongate your spine. Good, one more deep breath there. Think about also keeping a nice straight spine as well. So looking beyond your foot there, stretching, stretching. And then roll yourself up and then take your leg, other leg out to the side and we'll switch sides. So a little bit different today with our posture, sitting nice and tall. And then we find ourselves with a tall spine, arms are forward and we're going to hinge forward. So we hinge forward over that foot and then we relax down. Good, from that position, we then extend and lengthen our spine long, finding length in the body, and then draw your head and chest down again. Good, gently roll yourself up here. Well done, and then we're gonna come into a little quad stretch. So just uh, maybe take hold of something if you've got something nearby, and you're just going to take your, like I'm doing my left foot, the left foot in towards your bottom, squeeze it in into your quad stretch. So really good for the front of the thigh. And then exhale, release, 
and then just switching sides. So you're gonna draw your right foot in now, heel in towards your glute, pull it in. Good variation on a standing quad stretch there. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And release, lovely guys. Just sit yourself back down and we're going to take a quick neck stretch before we finish. So just take your left ear with your right hand and just draw your neck down towards that side, pulling it down towards that shoulder. And then release there and then gently circle your head around, taking it to the other side, drawing that head down. Nice, and then release. Circle around. Let's just do that one more time. Just a nice thorough neck stretch. Always a really good way to finish the class. So reaching over, pull that head down, gently releasing the neck. Release the arms, circle around. Other side, reaching up, draw that head down. Finding length in the side here and release, circle around. And let's do our three deep breaths to close the class. Inhale, reaching the arms up, and then exhale as you're pressing your arms down, like you're moving through some water or some resistance there. Again, deep breath in. Exhale, press. And one more time, deep breath in, engaging the body, inviting lots of positive energy into your day. Oh, the sun's just come out again. And exhale, perfect timing. <laughs> Lovely work, guys. Well done. Give yourself a clap, everybody. Fantastic work. I hope you have a fantastic Saturday and a wonderful long weekend. Enjoy the long weekend, guys. I hope you've all got something fun planned. Hopefully, we have some lovely weather. Um, if you're around tomorrow, I'm going to be teaching, covering the yoga at 11.15, um, I think. Yeah, 11.15. So I would love to see you there if you want to try some yoga. Um, otherwise, have a great Saturday, my lovelies. Thanks so much for joining me. And yeah, have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. Well done.